the National Hot Rod Association, so let's see some drag racing. It is smaller than I expected. This thing's just like a tiny rocket. Credentials time, here we go. Actually, this is the most important thing around my neck. Yeah, we are getting a backwards ride. We're gonna go fast. Race. We should walk, it's my fitness channel. Holy oh, crap, this is cool. It's a rumbly over there. Does the wax make you go faster? Look at that. So we're taking a walk through. All the professional drivers are displayed here. And our guide for the NHRA was just saying that they have a lot of female drivers. And like three female world champions, so they're winning too. Heck, get back behind the velvet rope and... This is so cool. Fire maker. Oh, that is cool. What the... It smells like, I don't know, gasoline, oil, speed. A human goes in there. That's so crazy. Oh my god, oh my god. It's like buggy at CMU. That no one's gonna get that, but some people will. Ooh, this is the gator car. <laughs> I think it's so crazy that a person goes in there. Good, get in. 800 to 1,000 degrees, yeah, comes back. Oh my god. So we pull it, we have Kemmler vlogs. What the heck? Oh, that's the whole inside. It's called a funny car. So this is Ron Caps' funny car. This if, is the trailer where they reason, work on it. Does get damaged. So mobile garage. This is Leah Pruitt, and she drives this, and okay, is right, super right, famous. So and they're explaining yeah. to her so, who I am. Okay, now so I'm concerned. She's gonna be needing your earplugs in about like 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> this is our warm up. A nitro warm up. We don't do it just for fun or because we like our nostrils being like blown out and teary eyed. Uh, we check a lot of things. So we're getting ready for our third qualifier of the event. So before that. We're in the pits, the car's jacked up. We check timing, we check pressures, we make sure all of our systems work forward, reverse. We make sure that we have zero problems so that when we go the line, we can go 330 miles an hour. So, we're about to make like all types of nasty sounds and noises. Oh that, dear. That I'm in love with. Let's get to it. All right, pee my mic. There's some parts that are supposed to smoke, there's other parts that are not. <laughs> He's got not a mask like, on because supposedly the nitrate is in the nose. And she's like, if you need to leave, off in there. Yeah, so nervous. Oh nervous? I'm so concerned. Why are we this close? Let's see. Oh my god. Holy crap. Spinning that whole time. Yeah. The only comments are coughing and weird That's noises. Cool. Yeah. You have like a fitness regimen related to this. I do. Keep no. your heart rate down or something. And there, trust me, there's no like cocktail trainer out there, but I do work out. I mean, so my hand, eye, and foot coordination is so my body. So I have trainer. I have actually we actually have trainers in all of the trailers, like in my to-go bag, in the tow vehicle, um, at any time. So to be able to practice lights. And then cardio-wise, like you think that it's not that bad. But you get to the end of the run, you're out of breath 100% because you're holding your breath. It's breath. crazy. And sometimes you're in that car for 40 minutes or so. You're strapped wow. in, there's an oil down, something happens, a crash, and like, you know, wait out 10 minutes, ends up being 40 or 50. So imagine being like this, never moving your head, never moving your back, your body, whatever. So there's that, and then uh, I gotta wear ankle weights because the explosiveness of cutting a light wow, is based off yeah. of, it's not just like, I'm gonna do the gas. Right, right. Like, it's in power. Whoa. So literally, like, stomping on the loud pedal is important. And the geometry, so we work on the geometry of like, what is, what's best for me and my angle by five degrees, and then kick oh, out tops, and, like, super wow. tough, super slow. Wait. It's kind of a thing. Right. Oh, so, right. The yeah, lighter you are. The, the car and the driver have to weigh 23, 40, 2,000, 40 pounds. You're so, cutting? The lighter driver you are, the better placement you can put the weight. So, like, they all have to weigh the same. The more weight you can put over the ass end of the car, the more traction, the faster yeah, yeah, yeah. you can go. If you gain weight in the off season, you don't sit in the car. No. They won't let you know. <laughs> this seat is 100% molded to my body. All of our seats have to be. She's bringing us in the mobile garage thing. Where's the blender? 
They need to make a smoothie. Welcome to my driver's lounge. Now we Let have a gather egg. of all yeah. of the things. Place of crap. Winners think about winning. Losers think about winners. I share this locker room with five guys. <laughs> like, this is not my cue. Well, it smells great, so. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this button will stage you up, so I'm on the right side. All right, so if you stage up, you hit it. Okay. So you hit the button, then you hold it down, and you just wait, and you stare at these yellows, and as soon as they illuminate, then you hit the throttle. Okay. Get you, get you guys. They wear two down. different shoes. That's oh, yeah. awesome. What's going on. Oh my god. Ah, oh, god. Yellow? Just, yep. Okay. <laughs> That's done yet. So that was a tie. <laughs> It's so fast, you can see it. It's super fast. So it, and it's like random. Thing. Sportsman racers have that. You uh, do not. Pro, the, the pro, it's called the pro tree, and that's four tenths of a pro tree where they illuminate. And so it's a random dial too, so you can't just sit here and like, otherwise we'd be perfect. Wow. So you're, it's like, once you stage, then you're on edge. There we, hey, I, there are people that race and don't do that. So that was. Oh, there you go. <laughs> And you can practice this for hours, or I like to come in and hit it one time because we only have one time on right. there. It's like a balancing deal. To go fast is not about just giving it the most power because we can make plenty of power. It's about having the right amount of power with the right amount of clutch for what the track can hold. Because we make close to 12,000 horsepower. We are the fastest accelerated vehicles on the planet, period. Ain't nothing now accelerates this. Okay, we go from zero to 100 miles an hour in we pull over six G's. So we pull more G's than the aircraft being catapulted off an aircraft carrier and taken off and going straight up. Our car goes like this, pushes you back. Then when you think that it's not going to do it again, then it does it again. <laughs> then it does it again. And then when you go 500 feet, like three seconds to run, it goes one to one. You feel like somebody took a sledgehammer and hit you right in the back and it goes boom like that. And the whole car comes off the ground and it's kind of floating the rest of the way. So imagine doing 290 miles an hour and then it just hits you. Oh my God. Your fly is open. I can see. <laughs> That's Jim. He's the driver. Oop, and I just ran into that. Okay. You know what's inside their car? Carmen Electra. I'll take this fuel pump and pull it on the high side, which now it's just throwing about 85 to 100 gallons of fuel. 100 gallons of fuel. I feel like it's not green. Everyone keeps talking about this bad for the bite nitro. I'm so scared. Go through your body and like your, every hair will stand up. Signing in at the sweet. Oh my god, this is. Wait, what's the word? Sweet. Seems like they're racing, but they're not. This is the burnout section, so he's just leaving the part of his tire on there, so it's laid down. That's Leah! Something went wrong. That dude, like, took off just during burnout when they were preparing. And now he's on fire. Exactly, and you know, that's what we talked about as a group. We're not trying to get people out there. Oh, yeah, we know, we know. And he will bring a youngster in and give him an opportunity. Sponsors with Team Coletta down there, and he's out here hanging yeah, out as a VIP guest. As the field goes, you're going to see more Camp Coletta this weekend. That's what saw Red King. I walked into him at the hotel last night and said, I thought, I thought I'd read you. No, man, he's very tired of working. He's a great driver. I will say, everyone keeps talking about the nitro being like pretty good. I think it smells good. Here we go again. That's the doctor, by the way. He's just here to make sure. No one, I don't know. Well, if you catch on fire, he'll take it. You certainly can learn something on oh those Oh my runs, god. Oh, it's your whole body. Really nice okay, guess what? Car. Now, though, I was too busy freaking out about my chest because now I get. Oh! oh! I'm stuck in the. Cool! It's like super sticky. We're gonna watch in between. So, this them. line right here is about where the rear tires are gonna be. Make sure you're behind it. Yeah. Anywhere in here? Yep. Enjoy. We gotta be behind the tires. I'm, I'm so nervous. Oh my god. I'm really scared. Someone published this. Mom, I love you. I feel it. I feel it. 
<laughs> oh my god, I'm never going to breathe again. This is John Ford. He is the winningest buddy car driver of all time. Oh dang. He just, he got his 150th and 151st win last season. The hero is stuffed right in there. Stings a little bit. <laughs> this is what's called Goodyear freckles. Uh, you got, you got flex. It's probably all in your beard. That's tire. That's burnt tire on your face. I kind of asked to be inside after a few of those. <laughs> got the idea of what it was going to be. So now we're in the media room. Holy crap! This is cool. Look at all the media happening. It feels like these windows are open. That's how loud it is. <laughs> It's shaking the plastic that's behind the glass. People just left their car alarms on and the vibrations making them all go off. Oh, that's cool. Also, we get to see the TV compound. Let's do it. We were right there. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, we were on I TV. I survived. Mm -hmm. Hey, how are you? Good. It's like what you see on TV. Yes, sir, what's up? But they're making TV. These are all kind like of like DVRs. massive DVRs. We're recording everything from all cameras at all times. We have some of the best camera guys in the business, so it's, uh, what he's moving at probably close to 300 miles an hour, right, right. perfectly in focus. Wow. Okay, I had to come back in because I couldn't handle it anymore. This has been insane. Seeing what goes into this sports drivers are crazy, like crazy talented and also just crazy. If you get a chance, go check out some NHRA drag racing because this is not doing it justice. I know my camera is not showing you the experience of being here. It is just crazy out of control.